Hey guys, I'm making a follow-up vid to the one I just released on how to jump uh, to different locations when the address changes. And I'd like to give credit to ABC right here. I'm sorry, I don't know your real name, but he left some great advice. And I think I'm going to pin that to the top uh, once I get over there to it. But uh, this is the method that he recommended, so this is what we're going to do. And I'm going to show you it's a lot easier than what I just showed you. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to go back to the same exact example, okay? So we did it. But it was good that you know that this is the byte distance away. And basically what you need to understand is actually, and I made a mistake in the last video, it's actually 71 bytes. It's actually jumping over 70 bytes with my script, okay? So when the script is on and we put inject plus 70, it jumps over over 70 bytes which 70 bytes ends right here at that zero zero so it jumps over that byte which is 70 and then starts at 71 so that's the correction i need to make sorry about that but uh i will redirect the other vid to people to this one as well i may even take the other one down i don't know yet but here's another way he recommended doing it so let's start from scratch and where we start with the aob injection now this is our normal code and I'm just going to leave this one as inject just like last time okay but we know that this is probably going to change every single time even though it's static but we're pretending that changes every single time so what is another way around it and this only works on a jump short by the way the distance if it has to jump to a different function or a different part of memory or something he's absolutely right there, there's no way the, the method I just taught will work well here's a, a better method go to the place it jumps to and if it's another place in memory but just mash follow to the jump and it'll take you to the place it needs to jump to and that's for the cases that it's nowhere near like it is now but another way to do it is also the place that it goes to is do another AOB and name it something and I'm just gonna name it jump to just like he did all right and all you really need is this right here the AOB scan module why is that? Because we want that name and we do need to register or add as a symbol in our other script. And I'm going to show you. We don't need the script anymore. We just needed that information. So let's put that on here. And this is the beginning byte of the place it needs to jump. And we've named it jump2. So let's register that as a symbol. Jump2. Make sure anytime you register something or alloc something that you deallocate it and unregister it. There we go. And all you really need to do now, you have an AOB location that Cheat Engine can find. And you just tell it to jump to that symbol. Just like that. Real easy. And that works everywhere. But you will need to find a unique array of bytes. So keep that in mind also so now you got both methods both methods methods will work however uh, the previous method only works on a jump short situation where it is a distance if it's in another part of memory it will not have that it'll have like the address and the address will be different each time but this is a better route to take in both instances so I would really recommend using this instead uh, ABC suggestion there so it's a great suggestion I absolutely loved it and i wanted to show everybody so let's go back to memory and let's just take a look here's where we put our code our ejection point so let's go ahead and turn that on and let's see let's jump down and i want you to see this before we do that i'm sorry it just named the place we need to jump to that byte that four eight byte remember Let's take a look at it before we do that. 303E, Notepad plus 303E is the module handle. And we named that address, which is that very first byte. We named it that symbol name. Now look at it. Now that address is called jump to, which is the same exact byte, same exact instruction. Okay? So follow it. So we follow the code. And if the condition meets and it hits this, you see how it just has our symbol name now jump to whatever the address is of the AOB injection so let's follow that and boom it takes us to the place it would jump so both do the exact same thing uh, this is a lot easier method so uh, thank you pal that was 
awesome information absolutely loved it so anytime y'all have suggestions like that and uh have a better way please by all means let me know i mean like i say we're all learning together and uh i didn't even think about this to be honest with you and this is the better route to take so that's really good so i really appreciate all the hints and tips and suggestions uh that's how we grow that's how we learn so thank you very much so i hope this helps everybody